In this problem, we're going to solve this differential equation. This is a linear differential equation, and it's second order. That's because the highest derivative is 2. And it's linear because you have uh, you know, only functions of x in front of y and its derivatives. In particular, you have constants. So this one has constant coefficients. That's key. So whenever you have a linear differential equation that's equal to 0 with constant coefficients, you can use this method. So the first step is to write down what's called the auxiliary or characteristic equation. It's pretty easy to do. You basically just match the derivatives to powers. So it'll be 2, and then it's m, and then it's the second derivative, so I'm going to use the second power. And then minus 5, m, and then it's the first derivative, so it's the first power. And then minus 3. So you can think of y as the zeroth derivative, if you like. So that would be m to the 0, so it goes away, because m to the 0 is 1. So you don't write it when there's a y, you just write the number. And that's equal to 0. Okay, um, we can try to factor this uh, if we want, uh, or we can use the quadratic uh, formula, or we can complete the square. I'm tempted to try to factor it using like an old school method. <laughs> let's try it. I want to try it. I, the quadratic formula will work, but let's try to factor it using something called the AC method. It's, if you're watching this video or you're taking differential equations, uh, maybe you forgot about this, so let's, this might be kind of fun. <laughs> so the AC method says that you take these two numbers and you multiply them. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then, if the AC method is going to work, we need to find two numbers such that, ST means such that, uh, that they, I should just, I should have just removed the such, the such that, two numbers that they multiply, really bad English, to negative 6. So you need two numbers that multiply to negative 6, and add to the middle term here, okay, to negative 5. So what are two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to the middle one? Okay, so you multiply these two numbers, 2 and negative 3, and then you need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 5. Well, 1 and 6, uh, so it'll be, I think, negative 6 and 1. Let's check. I'm going to write it down and then think about it. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6, yep. And when you add these, you get negative 5, yep. So now what you do... I'm so happy it worked. This is 2m squared, so I get to show you this, minus 6m plus m. You see that? You put m's in front of the numbers. Just put m's in front of them. Boom, 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 and then minus 3. And notice how the magic just happened. Negative 6m plus m is minus 5. So like we just basically broke apart the minus 5 in a really cool way. Now we can pull out an m over here. Oh, we can also pull, we can pull out a 2m. So we're left with m minus 3, and then we can pull out a 1 from this piece here. So 1 times m minus 3. And maybe you see what we're doing. We're attempting to use what's called factor by grouping. So after you use the AC method, if it works, you use factor by grouping. So now we can pull out the m minus 3. So I'll put it in the front, m minus 3. And we have 2m plus 1. You have a product equal to 0, so you set each factor equal to 0. So m minus 3 equals 0, and then 2m plus 1 equals 0. So we get m equals 3 in the first case, so m equals 3. And then subtract 1, divide by 2, m equals negative 1 half uh, in this case here. So we have uh, the case where we have what's called distinct real roots. We have two real numbers, and they're different. Whenever you have something like this, there's a formula you can use. Formula is y equals c1 e to the 3x plus c2 e to the negative 1 half x. I just wrote the answer down. I didn't tell you the formula. Sorry. It's c1 e to the m1x plus c2 e to the m2x. So basically, you just put them both there. You put the number here, and then you put the number here in this formula. And that would be it. If you're curious, if you had three answers, like m equals 10, you'd have a c3 e to the 10x, etc. So you just put the number there next to the x. That's it.